What's your name again? I already told you. Get down the street. Median, I have every what right to be here. What I would like to do is walk you over. What there. crime am I committing? Right now, you're standing in the roadway. Not now. I mean, I'm, I didn't want him to like, you know, if I walked up the street, like, call you and say he's running or, right. you know, anything like that. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, haven't seen Hostile yet. Well, well, is that a threat, man? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, <laughs> well, you need to curb him. Is that yeah, a threat? Yeah, curb me. I mean, I'm a hard. Hey. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will look at situations where the police encounter citizens who know their rights, and the officers end up failing completely at the hands of those citizens. These scenarios represent the intersection between personal freedoms and the authority of law enforcement agencies, raising questions about the limits of police authority and citizens' understanding of their constitutional rights. These confrontations are not just legal battles, but also opportunities to educate the public about the powers and responsibilities of law enforcement. Let's delve into these scenarios to better understand the rights and responsibilities of both sides and how to protect your rights in a lawful and civilized manner. Now, let's get into the first confrontation right away. Now, let's join us in auditing the police officers working at a party night. Okay. You're in my personal bubble though. Okay, and it makes me uncomfortable. I have weapons see on how, me that are within hands reach. escalating and you're raising That's your okay. voice. You I don't encourage judging someone's character based on their appearance, but it's essential to recognize how important professionalism is in the workplace. This situation captures a female police officer with her hair in a ponytail, chewing gum while on duty, making her seem no different from a schoolyard bully. Is physical strength the only thing that got her into the police force? Moreover, her actions and words towards the people filming were quite rude. Sure, none of us might like being filmed, but what's important is how we handle it, not by saying, I'm not telling you when asked for her name and badge number. Providing that information is a police officer's duty after all. Okay, go ahead and step out of the street for me. What's your name again? I already told you. Get out of the street. Is that a lawful order? Yep. It is? Get out of the street. You're What's a pedestrian in a roadway. It's a lawful order? Pedestrian in a roadway. I need so, you to get out of the, the street. I just talked get to out your, out sergeant. your sergeant. just told me I can be here. Why Did do you think know? I'm back? Yeah. We just had a conversation with the sergeant. He said we can stay out of our way. He's not. He's totally not. Uh, just stay out of her way. That's all I'm I have. Not, okay, it makes me uncomfortable. I have weapons see on how, me that are within hands. You're reach. escalating and you're raising That's your okay. voice. You, like, is it illegal? Like I'm not. I'm not. Inter, is there a crime scene? I'm not interfering no, with anything. No, but you are in my area. I need you to back up. Because you gave me a lawful. What's you're the within, law? Because you're within hands reach of my weapons, and I need you to back up. Arrest me here. Nice try, lady. There's so much we could say about this female officer, but I'll just highlight a few key points and leave the rest for everyone to discuss in the comments below. This female officer doesn't seem like she's on duty at all. She's more than willing to chat with people who bring her joy or simply aren't holding a camera, even though this is a public place where carrying a camera should be a given. Get out of the street. Is that a lawful order? Yep. It is? Get out of the street. You're a pedestrian in a roadway. It's a lawful order. Pedestrian in a road. So now, or you will be arrested. Remember when you said you're going to arrest me for being in the street, but that guy was cool, huh? Yeah. Huh, Myers? I think you got pretty girl syndrome, Myers. You act like that because you're pretty and you're used to getting watching the police. Wow, okay. they're calling it popcorn. <laughs> She said, I can't be within arm's length of her because her gun. Later, some guy with popcorn is sitting like as close as I am to you guys, talking to her, totally fine, so we're in Myers. <laughs> <laughs> I've mentioned before that there are both good and bad police officers, right? And contrary to Officer Myers, Sergeant Maxson, her superior, is the epitome of a good cop. He always has a smile on his face and speaks courteously to citizens. He even said that as long as we don't interfere with their duties, filming is not a problem. We need more police officers like this sergeant because that's how the law can progress. It's easy to see why he's in a leadership position while Myers is still where she is. After watching this video, I'm sure many people People will agree with me that she doesn't deserve her position. You're drinking and driving? I need to see some ID. Go. You got ID? <laughs> and insurance. Oh. So, Wall Connor. Yep. Connor. Connor Wallach? Yep. Already hey man, uh, do you got anything you, uh, you shouldn't have in this vehicle? Bins, yeah. There's Illicit weapon. drugs, yeah. prostitutes. Do you mind if we do a cursory search of the vehicle just for citizen safety? Cursory? Yeah. Man, you got the vocab for YouTube videos. I'm sure they watched. Yeah. No, just I'd... for citizen safety. What about a pat down? You mind if I just pat you down real quick? Just you to make sure you got out of here, though. All right, you don't consent? I don't. No, oh, okay. Hey, That's I good, appreciate, man. Fourth Amendment. I appreciate you working with my consent. I, I, I can ask. You don't violate if you consent to it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You don't consent, I can't violate them, right? I get you. Got to honor my oath. Oh, 
That guy's running over me. What's up? Why do you guys all film the same thing? Once you get better, lit up. Oh. We'll share each other's footage. It just seems like, like you guys are following each other. It seems like you'd get more footage if you. That's true. We somebody's in trouble. I don't like him to get too far out of my my range. You know. Oh, so just you, in case something happens to him. Keep an eye on him. We keep her off. He got some stuff over there. I might borrow that from him. Stuff like that. So. But they're two different channels. Yeah. We share. So I like you know. I think you're, uh, you're. I like your demeanor. You're cool. The reason I get I was recording Myers is because how rude she was to my girlfriend several months ago, and then for standing in that median. Your you, girlfriend? Yeah, my girlfriend. Um, she she does recording too, and she had an interaction with Myers, and she was really. Rude. Probably close to a year now. About a year ago, yeah. I was and like, so, guess over here. That lights. Oh yeah, give me a mic. So, anyways, there was uh, after she had threatened me with arrest, and I said, hey, I talked to you. You already said we could be here. Uh, like standing like right next to her like this remember she said i couldn't be within arm's reach there's some guy right there and i called her out on us for standing in the median right so that's all man it's just like it can't be selective persecution right it has to be for everyone so cameras she just doesn't like it and so you know yeah, but I you can't threaten people with arrest for person. doing something so what's your policy like this young lady doesn't want to be on your channel because of her job she doesn't what you do for that uh well she's in public so there's no expectation matter. of privacy in public, right? I mean, yeah. You know, you know I, I typically, I try. Humanity. To, or right, right. No, you know I'm mean? not trying to deny people's humanity, yeah. but like uh, people off that they don't want. Um, government like, can you officials. Blur their face or something? I have blurred because that kind of takes the point of what we're doing away because, like I said, uh, Cats versus United States. Yeah. That's the kind of, the, I mean, you know what we're doing. So yeah. that's the whole point. And like, I don't go out of my way to record citizens. I mean, you guys seem pretty decent, so I don't I don't feel like you guys are going to be doing anything crazy, but that's what we do. We're just here to film an us, and obviously I got no problem with that. I'm just wondering, when you have a citizen that says, you know what, man, I am channel, do you right. guys normally say okay? or If somebody says, hey, I don't want to be recorded, and we're just in public, I'll keep them off conversation with me, then I'm recording because I document every interaction I have. So if, they, if I don't mind keeping them off if they don't want it, but... A lot of times don't want to be recorded <laughs> and I'm like I wasn't even going to record you but you came up to me so you're talking to me now so now I'm going to record you but no I'll, I'll specifically try to keep them off if I do record them it's usually inadvertently no yeah we strongly encourage these auditors to carry cameras everywhere to capture various perspectives of police officers, allowing everyone to make objective judgments. Most importantly, it is legal under the First Amendment to ensure transparency. Here we go again with officers who lack understanding but still like to make things difficult for citizens, only to find themselves unable to answer questions about the First Amendment. For certain, what's the First Amendment say? Have you read it so much, what's the First Amendment say? Look at the way this officer avoids questions about the First Amendment. Is it because he doesn't know the answer, so he refuses to respond? The citizen asks that question as a subtle way to assert his own rights and to gauge the officer's basic level of understanding. Yet all he received in return was disappointment. We're trying to get pictures of. Land security threat level. So what are you taking pictures of? You now. What if I don't want my picture taken? Well, you're in public. It sure does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. I have hey, a right. Have you read this? <laughs> yeah, I've practiced it quite a bit of time. Have you? Have you? And read it some more. Yeah. <laughs> because you need to understand your First Amendment. Yeah, there's certain. What's the First Amendment say? Have you read it so much? What's the First Amendment say? You're going to wait. Oh, yeah? Because I'm not here for a quiz. Well, I'm here doing my job. Right we'll do your job. We'll get what we need. We'll and do your job. job. I'm doing my job. You see it. Press pass. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Who, who assigns press passes? Who, who did you get this pass from? Born in the U.S., so therefore, that gives me the right. Oh, just to take pictures of somebody else's property? Yeah. So where does that say in the Constitution? It's, uh, it's under the property. First Amendment. It's called the Freedom of Press. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I think you're masking on. Why are you shaking then? Why am I shaking? Mm -hmm. I'm not shaking. First of all, there, you're not on public property. We are yeah, on we public are. property. What is the sidewalk? What's the sidewalk? Depends the, on where you're at. What's the easement called? The From that center is, line. It's not to take pictures of what sure I'm doing. It does. <laughs> 
The First Amendment doesn't the right to record here, right? It doesn't give you the right to record here. Yeah, sure it does. does. What are you? CCP? You Chinese? Country? So are you telling me? You You're a pogue then, aren't you? You license pogue? to interact with the public outside the uh -huh. facility? Yeah, outside of your you property. Oh, they're up there taking pictures. Hey, uh, you know you're so busy. <laughs> oh my god. That ain't gonna happen. Huh? <laughs> well, you probably should call him back and be like, hey, bro, uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm not too coming down. Yeah, I might need to restudy uh, that. So, what, what's the issue? Why are you guys here? Uh, ask him. I don't know. We're just working did, on did stories. Did you get him coming here uh, or did you just show up? Oh, yeah. no. no, we just showed up. Okay, that's why he said because of him. That was... Could be like, hey, bro. We might push off the grass yeah. a little bit. I got you. Oh, man, I, I'm I ain't going to block. Yeah, I, we ain't going to block. See you guys. We're good. We're good. We're good. If you have it's questions, you can go ahead and ask him. Maybe we can help you there. Yeah. Uh, so, what, what, what draws you to this area? What, what, what's the problem? I lo uh, there's no problem. No. Um, he, he probably needs retrained a little bit. Well, he's so, just trying to do his job. You know, you're that's not fine. There, to... There's a way you can do it, though. So, we're recording, right? This is America. This is public, right? Obviously, back there, we, we're not going to go back there, okay? It's not just freedom of speech, right? There's too much fake news BS going around nowadays. This is our news. We are the press. Here, um, you know, if he doesn't know the First Amendment, maybe he just knows freedom of speech. There's five five basic topics in the First Amendment alone. And understand, hey, you know what? This is my job over here behind this, because this is the property that I'm supposed to, perfectly allowed to record. Uh, you guys got no weapons or anything on you, right? I don't answer questions. All right. Mm -hmm. And no, not, what's that say on there? Security? Yeah. yeah, you ain't a cop, so I wouldn't even answer your questions to begin with. Well, I'm not trying to... I a rude or a dick, but you're security. But you're, yeah, man. another thing, too, I understand you might want to feel... You want to be as safe as you can. However, there's multiple of you on both sides of us. I think you're solid, man. You're all, you don't got nothing armed. to worry about, You all got guns. Neither, none of us... You're, you're, being you are, you're being fine. You're being fine. This guy, on the other <laughs> hand, he came out really yeah, aggressive. Out it's quite amusing to see this officer constantly trying to appear busy to avoid being questioned by the citizen. His lack of knowledge, professionalism, and awkwardness are all written on his face. People are even questioning whether he's physically fit enough. How did he even make it into the police force? Yeah, he's just it. trying to do his job. Well, yeah, but yeah, there's doing the job and then there's being a hot Yeah, no, I, I understand it could be a new experience, but going on in the future. All right, just so, be like, hey, they're on public, man. I can't do nothing. They could record freedom of the press. This is their right, even if you hoard me and my duty or this place over here that I'm working at. But you know what? At the end of the day, this is America and we are the press. We the What's your kind of goal? Are you guys trying to, just to show record, these pictures? Is it? The, like oh yeah, the outside. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm I can't disclose everything. that information because I haven't published the story yet. Yeah. Um, I mean, they got if sure. they got these pictures on you know Facebook. You can look it up. You can look up yeah. on Google Maps. Exactly. So, there you go. Um, so right there for him. You know, yeah, we ain't going in. You don't got to worry Ooh. about that. And then one more thing to add. So check this out. Let's say my it has a dash cam on it. You know that that's one thing too. It would be taking pictures straight in and that's not a leak fact hey we are americans here let's work together this is their first amendment right they're on public property they're doing absolutely nothing wrong but understand dude they got cameras they're doing nothing wrong just go about your day do your job you know if you act appropriate you're going to look appropriate type you meant, yep. you know i'm not going to make you guys look bad whatsoever so you where, where are you guys from back. uh we don't like to answer questions mm -hmm. like that information i'm just not a huge fan of um, so we do like our fourth amendment as well. So that's, that's about it. I mean, do you have any more just record? And obviously we're not going to go inside. We're, we're not really going answering to a whole lot of questions. What can you tell me? Well, what are you going to answer all of them? But you know, uh, say, uh, you were in my shoes and the yeah. supervisor sent you here and you okay. wanted to kind of get some information. What all of the previous arguments made by the first officer became meaningless when this officer stated that it didn't matter. At least one of the officers respects the law and treats citizens with respect. And that's truly the case. The First Amendment covers the right to film in public, and these citizens were standing on the sidewalk. They weren't doing anything outrageous to warrant multiple officers surrounding them and demanding ID. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good. Stop practicing my First Amendment. Yeah. Okay. I don't answer personal questions, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, certain ones we won't answer, yep. but you're welcome to ask certain things. Yeah, you can, you can answer, you can ask us. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I'm just talking fine. to you. Yeah. You guys can, yeah, I'm just talking, that's yeah. it. I'm just wondering what's going on. Literally it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 But you guys been deer hunting? Yeah, I already got a picture of it. Yeah, that's it. 
Colin Smith, everybody. Colin, no, that's kind of close, but. Yeah, come on, Christopher. See. Let's see. T Hatfield, like, like Hatfield and McCoy. Well, we got. But yeah, man. Let's see. N A N N Man. And then, uh, is that Odekirk? Is that how you say that? Odekirk? Yeah. Until we commit a crime, but we don't do that. We're Fine, don't want to Yeah, I don't know. Right. Me neither. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> you, you folks check on everybody that walks down this. Just when they kind of walk up here, they hang out and stuff. We just kind no, of we hadn't, we we hadn't hung out. That's we it. had just walked I'm, up. I think you guys were just yeah. seeing what's going on. That's, that's it. Yeah, you're, I mean, that's fine. That's understandable. Right, yeah. I mean, you However, got there's one thing that I would love. Um, do you have it for one? Do you have any problem with us being here doing what we're doing? Uh, you know, as long as you guys aren't, yep, like we that. won't, yeah. yeah, nothing good to go, huh? Yes, so okay. do you understand, like, under the First Amendment, freedom of press, why we're that's we're fine, just that's fine, well, yeah. just and, for and being told understand. there's no yeah. video supposed to be taken here at all. Okay, I, under, exactly. I understand where you could be trained inside sure. there, period. Okay, oh, okay. Um, this Unfortunately, could be a great lesson for whoever told you. Yeah, that. the DHS oh. memo in 2018 um, says we can. So that's your Department of Homeland Security that says we can do this. Well, that's okay, but the thing of it is, <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen hostile yet. Well, is that a threat? Right? Hey, 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 hey. hey. No, no, no. <laughs> you need to curb him. Is that yeah, a threat? Yeah, curb me. I mean, I'm a heart hey, escalate, brother. Yeah, it's no, no, de-escalation here, not stop, escalate. Stop. I, I know you guys are doing. It's cool. It's okay, see, so you're you informed, you know, but he don't. Protection of privacy in public. Hey, why does he just have a phone? None. He doesn't get like a cool camera. Yeah, he has a. Well, his phone's right. better than my barely. Well, get an S10 Plus on Amazon, plus? dude. That's two hundred bucks, <laughs> and it's right. top yeah. tier camera. So I mean, you know, phone. Yeah, I say I just go with Samsung. That's what I say. You know, one of them's really bad and like doing bad things, and we might catch it on camera. But if you're doing the right thing, nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know well, right? I, I get it. I get it. I you just, only look bad if you act bad. Yeah, I, so, I get it. I get it. Yep. Yeah. That's about it, man. Right. Tenue, I don't know if you have anything else to say or if you want to huddle and be like, dude, they're good to go. Just let, let them <laughs> fucking do their thing. Relax. I, I mean, you if you are, want we're to, gonna, you we're can. We're going to walk around. I mean, yeah, we're going to be walking, so. I mean, if you guys want to tag along. Well, it's good for you, though. Yeah. It is. You're it right. <laughs> You're right. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. We appreciate it. We're going to keep doing our thing. Yep. Situations like this have become quite tiresome. Have you figured out the formula yet? Police often use the excuse of private areas, even when they aren't actually private, to demand citizens' present ID, only to encounter knowledgeable citizens and get overturned. You know what to do, right? Once again, it's the inexperienced officers and their pleas for sergeant intervention to fix the mistakes they've made. Go ahead. I asked you to get somebody out here before you started asking all these questions. Police often confuse public areas with private property, which isn't a valid reason to demand a citizen's name. From what I observed, this officer initially appeared intimidating, thinking he could get the citizen's ID. But once he encountered someone who knew the law, he began to act cautiously. Wait for my supervisor. He was defeated from that moment on. Hello. What's going on today? How much? How are you? Nothing. I'm just here to answer. I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Just don't want you to be worried about me being here. That's all. That's all. That's. Um, just... I can. Okay. I'm not scared. I'm not nervous. All right. I'm, well, I, I definitely haven't done anything wrong. All right. Well. So I don't know why you get nervous when I walk up to him. Yeah, that's all it is. Okay. Sure. What's your name, buddy? Give me my name. Because they are formally trespassing you from their property. I'm on. I, you are not on their property currently. Right. Forward, you are no longer ever allowed to be on their property. Okay. Okay. Well, and all I, I'm doing I is document. I don't need to. I do have to do that. Okay. So you are you is your body count on? It is. Okay. Are you demanding my ID? Yeah. Hmm. You are being. Formally... Have I committed a crime? What crime have I committed for you to demand my ID? Problem. You probably should get somebody out here. It's not what not the way the trespass law works. I have not been on there. I'm not going to give you my name. I'm not going to show you my ID. I'm in a public space.
Joseph Burkhoff, badge number 2390. Okay. Admiral. Is it not your policy? Hmm? Is it not your policy to give at least one of those? Your department policy? Well, then, it wouldn't matter to me either way. Yeah, I don't know why you'd say that. I don't understand why you're out here. Is it I not? didn't say there was anything wrong with okay. it. I said I don't understand, just like you don't understand the things that I'm saying. So. Yeah. I mean, it's not about being on the same page. I'm, I, mean, I mean, I'm in public, right? I'm, I haven't been on their property, right? They can trespass you without you entering their property. Mm, I don't know if that... I mean, but I haven't committed a crime, though. I mean, this guy right here in front of you has not committed any crimes. I right? told you that, didn't I? I know, but you're demanding my ID. Because I have to be able to track who we have notified that they are not allowed you, on You've property. notified me. How about a uh, good... They call on you because they I, say... Can I identify as good citizen? No. I can't? No. Are you sure about that? I'm positive. Okay. Are you, are you new? Well, I haven't committed any... can identify as good citizen if I want to. So, um, I mean, what do you got? You gonna violate my rights? Go ahead. I asked you to get somebody out here before you started asking all these questions. Before we got here, so... Trying to get... Maybe we should just get educated real quick. For standing in public, whatever a business owner says. When the issue of ID gets turned around on him, he responds by saying, I'm not forcing you. A real police officer would never use this issue as a mere talking point. And when a citizen pushes back, he shouldn't react with such an attitude. He even raised his voice in frustration when he felt powerless, displaying a lack of professionalism and composure. Do you work for them or do you work for the public? I work for everybody. Okay, so whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? I'm on the side of the public. Okay, well the public hasn't committed any crimes, but you're demanding their ID. No. Whoa! Okay. Thank God. I'm, I think so. You you're demanding me. my ID. I haven't that's, forced you to do anything. You're, but it's the ver it's the verbiage. That's that's where you're not getting. Am I free to go or am I being detained? Am I free to go? Do you want to talk to my supervisor? Am I free to talk to my supervisor? Can I ask a question before that? May I ask you a question? This is your chance, man. Here it is. This is your chance to represent Knox County. Right here. I don't work for Knox County. But they, they obviously hate you for this right here. You're not being transparent. I'm trying to ask you a question, and you're you being evasive. Citizen in the public. That's what you don't get, or you don't care. That's what you don't get, or you don't care that I'm a public? No. You are free to go. If I'm free to go, then I'm free to stay. Am I, am I right? Right? Right or wrong? You're correct. You can okay. stand right there all you want. Exactly. Go tell them that. That I could stand right here? Yes. Then why are you out here trying to trespass me? Because they don't want you on their property. I don't care they what they me. want. Let me finish talking. Jeez. You're so rude. No wonder. No wonder America hates you guys. Nice try, though. Well, it's 50 50, but it should be 100. You should be on our side, but you're not. I should. See that right there? Phone, but it was broken yesterday by, you know, some employees. And they're like, you're standing right here, too. Hey, you say you can't do anything about it now? Even though it's on video? There's nothing you can do, right? Go ahead, uh, you detect him. Figure that out. So there's nothing you can do about it. Just, as, just yesterday. Some misdemeanor offenses do not occur in my presence. You, however, can go get a warrant on that if you decide to. That's all you have to say, my boy. You're free to go, but the citizen was there from the start, not doing anything illegal, and was being harassed by the police. The First and Fourth Amendments of the U.S. Constitution protect citizens' fundamental rights and play a crucial role in maintaining personal freedom in a democratic society. The combination of these two amendments ensures that citizens not only have the right to express their views and record public activities, but also are protected from unreasonable invasions of privacy and personal freedom by law enforcement agencies. The First and Fourth Amendments form a strong 
strong shield protecting basic rights and help maintain a balance between individual freedoms and state power. Hanging out. Okay. That's it? That is it. Well, no, I think we've squashed that, right? You don't need my ID now, right? I would still like to formally trust Are you demanding it? Is so, he, so hold on, hold on. He's, he's demanding my ID though. The call that we got was from the business. Okay. And, and I don't know because I just, I don't answer questions. Here? Not today. Do what? I don't answer questions. Okay. If you are free but, to leave. Okay. And you're free to leave. He already said that to me. Okay. Yeah, that's about five minutes ago. Okay. Okay. Then you don't need me free. I didn't want him to like, you know, if I walked up the street, like, call you and say he's running or right. you know anything like that that's fine the second pair of eyes yeah as long as you're freely moving up and down the sidewalk yeah and, I, and I can assure you I have been okay yeah. all right. right oh can I ask one more question I'm sorry so to do a police report now nah, nah, to do a police report after the fact is it can I go downtown or notes or anything well, how's that work what, what kind of report are you trying to make uh, well, I mean, like a police report right here, obviously. Right. So we need to go file a police report. Should I, does someone need to go to the police station or can they just walk and say, hey, I witnessed a crime. And I, he, and I he, can do a report for you. That's no problem. Okay. So what kind of reach you? And okay. damage to property, I guess. I don't know how. Okay. Okay. I, I got to have your ID for that, though, or at least your name. I got to know who's making the report. Victim. Well, can, uh, can we at least uh, get through the steps of... I guess to figure out if it's an assault standing. Actually, right over there, there's a storm drain. Hopefully, it's owned by the city. Hopefully, they don't own that, which I'm, I'm not standing in it. I was here yesterday, okay. not on their property, as he said. Okay. Um, and they came out within just a few minutes, two of them. I, uh, John Overton, and then. Uh, You're talking about we're Born This Way? Yes, Born This Way, the tattoo place, which I'm okay. talking about the. Well, within just a few minutes, one of them knocks the camera out of my hand. I have it in a holder so I can hold it but I mean he, he smacked my hand and the camera and it obviously he separated slid you know 10 feet okay. and then I went and picked it up so in your opinion the solid or just should I just I'm going to tell you the facts so okay. what you just told me it sounds like yes that you were assaulted if it, hit, if it actually hit your hand mm -hmm. oh yeah okay. but in order for me to make a report I have to have your information so that I can put who the victim Gotcha. That's how the report works. Okay. So would you like for me to make that? Uh, no, I just... So then you have two options at this point. Because it's an assault, you would have to go to the police department and make that in person. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. We do have a... Maybe we'll not take assault reports over the phone. Okay, so just go in. Yes. Okay. Okay? Okay. Our rights are established in legal texts. Don't let the police distort them. Protecting your own rights helps build a stronger community. The police once again use the excuse of protecting citizen safety to demand that they stop filming. Oh, shut the up. I am not in the road, trooper. Get to your goddamn job. You got this girl detained. In 2011, Carl Smith and his wife, Elaine Smith, recorded video footage of police during traffic stops and other activities in Cumming, Georgia. They argued that their rights were violated when the police attempted to prevent them from filming and harassed them for doing so. The 11th Circuit Court of Appeals ruled in favor of the citizens' right to film police activities. The court emphasized that the First Amendment protects individuals' rights to record the actions of public officials officials, including traffic stops, when these actions occur in public places. The court also noted that this right is crucial for oversight and ensuring transparency in law enforcement. And now we encounter a similar situation. Hey, get an attitude with the people, huh? Using Zoom now. Goddamn Karen. No, I absolutely, have you ever read the Constitution of the United States? Why don't you give it a try? She apparently needs an education on the First Amendment as well. Hey, sir, how are you doing? How are you fucking doing? I'm sure your mom is real proud. You got this girl stopped in the middle of the road and you're over here blobbing your gums to me. Can I get you to step out? Can, you, can I detain? Do uh, yeah. Then do it. But right now if you have ADD, that's your okay. fucking problem. No, I'm not stopping you from doing shit. Using the First Amendment of the United States. You. Have you ever heard of it? I have, yes. Sir. All right, good. And you're more than welcome to report. It's not a, no, I'm not. I'm on a goddamn uh, center median. 
and anybody can I'm stand here. Good for them. I can be here. This is grass, man. No, no cars can drive here. I can right. be here. But you understand that if a no, I don't know. You can take your ifs and shove them up your ass, you goddamn tyrant. How dare you? you? You got her detained. Can I? Do then do it. Nobody's stopping you from shit. If you have ADD, I'm not committing a crime. Bullshit. What? Well, oh, is this my fault if a, if a car hits me? I'm not in the road. I'm on a median. Right. Yeah, that's right. And cars don't get to drive here. Do you see that yellow line? I do. Yes, sir. Yeah, and cars aren't allowed to. Not my crime. Their crime. Good. I don't want you to get hurt either. So go get her. And I, can handle business, that, man. I, I didn't, I'm asking you to go stand. And I'm asking side. you to go right stop asking me to do shit, man. This is well, America. If you, if you I don't care do what you would like, unless I'm breaking a law. Don't tell me shit. In a designated crosswalk. A designated area. crosswalk I area. I'm on a median. I have every well, right to be here. What I would like to do is walk you over. What there? crime am I committing? No, I'm not. The roadway's right there on the other side of that line. The roadway is defined as the area between the lines, you dipshit. King, I have a right to refuse your asks. In this situation, the police have seriously violated citizens' constitutional rights, particularly the First Amendment rights related to free speech and filming. Instead of respecting the public's right to record public activities, the police intervened and unreasonably demanded that citizens move, showing signs of abuse of power. The officer's irresponsible actions and failure to provide clear, lawful orders not only cause confusion, but also erode community respect and trust in those entrusted with the duty to protect and serve. Such behavior not only tramples on citizens' rights, but also undermines the credibility of law enforcement agencies, making people feel threatened rather than protected. Unless I'm committing a crime, which I'm not, in the roadway, which is the area between those lines, the median is not the roadway. But Get it straight, Trooper. Trooper Beck, badge number 73. Asking, I'm not committing a crime. Okay. I'm okay. documenting my public servants doing doing absolutely returned away from her because i don't want you to get i don't her. care what you want if the tables were then get it the table servant of the people you're get it straight wrong. trooper you're, i didn't say that, that, that yeah but you're over case. here bumping your gums i'm over here asking for being in the meeting and is not a crime okay well I'm, what i'm asking you to do and, and like like i said i'm asking for you i want you to be safe i'm if safe you, if you would walk you're a rick retard man standing with your body tamed on the you one right that now. why you are why you're standing in the road why i'm not in the roadway that's like the umpteenth okay. time you fuck i'm on the median this you get no respect you get a paycheck okay and now you want okay. why don't you go ask somebody else to you're do something else that's not a crime stop, sir, you're goddamn right i am but i'm trying to ask from you the you you're the one who's not safe i'm asking you to go stand somewhere safe well i don't have to do what you ask I'm not sit here and argue good. Get back to your stop. To I'm not what stopping like you. To do is, is maintain a safe distance. Road trooper, get to your goddamn job. You got this girl don't detained. Have to listen to me, sir. I don't have to listen to you. You get a paycheck. Right. That's what we you have to do. We have. Excuse me. I walk so through the crosswalk. Give me my distance is all I'm asking. I walk through the crosswalk. Okay. Just give me my distance. I didn't. Like yeah. Stay out of traffic because I don't want. I was never in traffic. I walked on a green light. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm? That's my concern. Good for you. I don't want you to fall on any donut holes. Don't trip over any sprinkles. Okay. Well, All right, wife, and don't fucking walk up to the people and trying to give unlawful orders. Okay. While you got some girl detained in the middle of the roadway. That. And she stopped in the gore. I don't control where. Oh, that's the gore. So now you know. Now you know what words mean. Okay. When you're trying to. That's the gore. It's not designated for you to walk in. Right. Excuse me. That's why they make sidewalks. Excuse me. I uh, can walk in this. I can walk on that shoulder. I can walk on that shoulder. And I'm not, listen, listen to what I'm trying to, to say to you. I don't have. You I'm are fucking an wrong. idiot, man. Okay. Well, Get to your goddamn job. You got her detained. What the? You no, I don't have to listen to. No, I haven't. You have ADD so apparently. You, you need a psych evaluation. You I got out with you that you're saying wrong. You're absolutely, absolutely right. And I'm paying attention to right traffic. Unlike you, you're standing right there with your back to traffic. I'm trying to speak with That's you. That's you to do shit. Go enforce if a law. If you're standing here and a car comes out of their lane of travel and they strike you, they're wrong and, and you get yeah, hit. Yeah, it's rough. 
in your life's still rough be a kid and something's gonna happen to yeah you. life's I rough like, i would not like that to happen to well me, good right? for you man i That's wouldn't like i happy if you want to record I, i've got no issue i can't apparently you do right. you need a psych evaluation man you you've got her detained got you you, sir, good you want to you're not sitting you're standing bumping your gums i'll do whatever the little snot nosed brat Police should protect citizens' rights rather than seek to undermine the law, and we must fight to the end to ensure that the law is properly enforced. We have witnessed too many situations where police abuse their power by demanding ID from citizens without a valid reason. When citizens understand their rights, they can effectively challenge and protect themselves. Our rights are clearly defined in the law, and we should not allow the police to distort these rights. Police should be defenders of citizens' rights, not underminers of the law. Therefore, we need to continue fighting to ensure that the law is enforced correctly and fairly. Only then can we build a society where all citizens' rights are thoroughly respected and protected. Stay tuned for our next video in this series by hitting the subscribe button. Have a great day.